Javi Caillé was appointed as Villarreal coach back in September 2017 after a terrible 4-0 defeat at the hands of Getafe by former boss Fran Escriba. It marked an important changing of the guard at La Ceramica given that Escriba had pragmatically spent his time at the helm trying to extend the Marcelino era and squeeze the last drops of success out of his personnel and system. Throughout both the Marcelino and Escriba eras, Villarreal would utilise a 4-4-2 religiously, but the appointment of Caella has ushered in a breath of fresh air. Nowadays, the Yellow Submarine utilise a 4-3-1-2, with such a formation enabling Caella to use some of his more talented personnel in more convincing positions. Since his promotion from within the club to manager, Villarreal have been well balanced, generally getting the balance right between being defensively responsible and also creating chances on the counter-attack. Under Marcelino, Villarreal's fullbacks were key. Mario Gaspar and Jaume Costa would offer the main width in the side, with his wide midfielders jinking in field to try and create problems while roaming. In some ways, the job of Calleo's fullbacks hasn't really changed. They are asked to provide the main width, stretching the opposition and allowing for the likes of Rodri, Manu Trieros, Samu Castillejo and Pablo Fornals to be kept compact in the central midfield area to have the means to play around opponents. Even if they are not as important in terms of transition and creativity, Mario and Hyome's deployment stretches opponents in such a way that it opens up more important spaces elsewhere on the field. If left unattended, neither fullback is afraid to drive forwards themselves either, with Mario definitely not hesitant when getting into the final third. Veteran central midfielder and captain Bruno has been sidelined for a long while due to injury, but his young deputy has stepped into the void brilliantly this campaign and earned himself two new contracts to bump up his release clause. Rodri is vital to this system functioning correctly, as his willingness to drop deep and collect possession before circulating the ball or driving into the midfield third carrying it opens the game up and helps Villarreal to get forward. Without his confidence and composure when receiving the ball from the back four, it could disjoint this system and force them to play longer a little more often than they would like. Given that the likes of Manu Trieros, who can also drop deep to collect, and Semu Castillejo are very gifted with the ball at their feet in central midfield too, a reliable transition from the defence into the midfield third is vital, as creating an overload centrally is key to this. After being purchased for a bargain price in the summer from Malaga, Pablo Fornells was looking like one of the deals of the season. Used centrally last campaign in a struggling side, the young Spaniard starred, but his deployment on the wings of a 4-4-2 under Escriba saw him pushed to the periphery. Under Caella, this couldn't be more different. Their new 4-3-1-2 system, something of a 4-4-2 diamond, places Fornals at the heart of this in an enganche role, linking the midfield and the attack together. By using this diamond, Caella's men are trying to overload the middle of the field and ensure that they can find Fornals in space. Often, they should be able to stretch opponents and give Fornals either space or 1v1 situations that he is capable of winning. He has the freedom to drop into free pockets and use his own intuition in between the lines, with the system geared towards him. After being misused by Escriba, he looks to be reborn again as the main creative protagonist, with his confidence and technical ability making him the key man in terms of feeding both Carlos Baca and Cedric Bakambu in behind a retreating opposition defensive line. Bakambu is seen as more of the one-dimensional goalscorer in this Villarreal side, with the Congolese striker the man to often be released in behind to use his considerable acceleration and killer edge. Gradually, over recent months, Carlos Baca has looked sharper and sharper since shaking off his Milan demons, and he offers a mobility that can also be matched by the likes of Nicolas Sanson and Danny Rabat. While they offer the energy as slightly more of a secondary striker, Bakambu can concentrate on the last man and playing off either theirs or Fornal's service. Baca has shown that he has grown since his last spell in Spain at Sevilla too, no longer is he just a pure goalscorer, but he can show feet or chest and play with his back to goal quite neatly. Leaving two up top means that the opposition have to keep at least a unit of three back, and this is conductive to overloads in Villarreal's favour elsewhere. People often ask us where we get our stats for these videos. Uh, a great place to start is the OneFootball app. The app offers a fairly comprehensive statistical coverage of teams and players in-game and post-match. So there's a link in the description of this video if you'd like to download it. Thanks for watching.